Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use Share as Sale, the affiliate network and the basics of it and how you can start earning money through Share as Sale affiliate networks. So as you can see from my recommendations site, I recommend Share a Sale to start with affiliate networks. So if you click here, um, you can click here or you can go to Share a Sale. This is where it will take you to the login site. You can create your username, you can create a password and just log in. But today I'm just going to go and show you how to use it as an affiliate who has already like signed in. You end up here on your share a sale main page. And as you can see, it's really, really like easy to navigate. You have here this top bar with the drop down menus that you can use and your activity feed, uh, which tells you like news about um, the sellers. And you can start with your merchant search right here or through merchants here. Let me just quickly run you through how this is working. So you have reports. Reports is basically where you can get all your statistics on how much money you earned, how many people clicked on your links, just everything that you can see here. Merchants is an overview over all the merchants that are currently on share a sale that you can join. Merchant status is where you can see for all the merchants that you have applied to, if you are approved, if you are pending, or maybe if you got rejected. And there's a lot of stuff here that I personally don't use, but there is a lot, lot more. Here is where you can get your links. Tools is if you need additional tools uh, for creating your blog posts, these two, and maybe your account uh, where you can change your account settings and also uh, your payment settings and here as well. So if you have never used Share a Sale, you can go here and search for merchants. And if you're new to Share a Sale, you basically want to start building your portfolio of merchants, maybe just products and companies that are good for your niche blog. I would not suggest just following everyone. Uh, that's also not possible. There are like so many, there are like thousands of merchants on here. So I would just suggest you search for merchants according to a category, or maybe if you already know that uh, the merchant you want to follow is on share sale, you can also search for them specifically. So you can go to merchants and search for merchants. This will lead you to this side, and it's one of the reasons why I love share sale so much. It's so easy to navigate. On the left side, you have all the categories that you can could imagine gaming, food, clothing, business. If you have a fashion blog, go to fashion. If you have a family blog, go to family. Uh, accessories, like it's super, super easy. So if I quickly click on accessories, it even um, defines it more in detail. As you can see, accessories has 488 merchants that are part of that. So it can get a little bit overwhelming. So don't panic. It's really, really easy to use if you use kind of these tools share sale gives you. Let's search for one. Look for merchants that suit your niche, suit your blog. So we have, for example, Minted here. Minted is a stationery, an amazing stationery company for birthdays, like birthday cars, every kind of cards, wedding invitations. It's just really, really cool. So maybe you have a, a wedding blog or uh, you are a wedding planner and you want to work with Minted and apply for their program. So if you click here on Minted or any other, you can get more information on the merchant itself and it's really helpful. So if we click, you can see that there's additional information on how much money you can earn per sale. Here it's 10 to 12 percent. Uh, you can also see how long your cookies will be uh, working, which is really important. So for example, 120 days means that someone clicks on your link today. It will be tracked for 120 days, which is amazing. So maybe someone uh, will click in 50 days and it will still generate you money uh, per sale, uh, even if it's so long in the future. So that's really an amazing thing. And you can see here conversion rates and other stuff. So, so if you decide you want to join the program, you can click here or um, as we have seen before on the link before. And you will need to apply for this program. Sometimes you can join directly, but it's more often that you will have to 
give some more information on who you are and then they will decide whether they want to accept you or if they maybe reject you, you may want to think about sending them an email and giving them more information on who you are, what your blog is, maybe what your statistics are, how many people you reach, etc. You will need to click here on join this program and then type in here um, the stuff that you uh, want to say and they give you some hints what they would like to see and like to know about you here. I would suggest that you really take your time or maybe create a template that you can use for several merchants. I've done that and that has worked uh, really well for me. So if you can just fill that in, accept the terms and then press join this program. So normally it takes a few days to get approved to a program. You can always check your status of whether you are approved or maybe you got rejected under merchants, merchant status. So here you are in the merchants status overview and it's really really easy. Uh, you can just click through all um, the different um, merchants that you have been approved you can here switch to approved, pending or declined. So for example, I am part of the affiliate group of Mixbook and you can use this referral uh, link that they provide you here or you can get even more links when you click on here. So as you can see here, they provide you with several different links that you can use. You can either go to their landing page, link to their landing page, or you can directly like link to, for example, their birthday announcement page, their card invitations page. Like this really depends on what you want to promote to your readers. Maybe you have a baby blog and you want to directly link to the birth announcement card page. Then you can get this link or you can just link to the landing page of Mixbook directly. So if you want to get this link, you can go and click on get HTML code and it will get you the strange um, coding that you can either directly insert in into the text field of your WordPress blog or any other blog that you're using. I actually um, prefer to click select URL um, and get a really nice link here and not the coding that you have here. So this is now the link that you can use in your blog post, in your Instagrams, in your YouTube videos and it will track your leads. That is basically how the whole thing works and then you can go to reports and get a payment summary, a ledger report um, of your few sales that you've done and check on your statistics. That is basically how I use Share a Sale. So I hope this video was helpful and it got you some insight on how to use Share a Sale and you want to try it out and earn money from your blog. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye guys!